This is a color wheel. A color wheel is an important art tool because it helps us understand the relationships between colors. This makes choosing harmonious color combinations a lot easier and it helps us see which color pairs will have the most contrast. For today's art lesson, we are going to paint a color wheel from scratch. This is a great art project for beginning artists or just anyone who simply loves color. So let's get started. Make sure you have your painting supplies ready. You will need red, yellow, and blue paint, brushes, a palette for your paint, a ruler, and paper. For our color wheel, we'll use 12 sections, including primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Let's kick things off by understanding our primary colors first. Our primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Primary colors are like the building blocks of all the other colors. They cannot be created by mixing other colors. Let's start by drawing a circle on our paper. You can trace a round object like a plate or a cup or use a compass to help you draw your circle. After you've drawn your circle, draw a vertical line that splits it in half, followed by a horizontal line that divides it again. You should now have four equal sections. Now we'll divide each of those sections into three equal parts, resulting in 12 even sections when we finish the whole color wheel. We will start painting our color wheel by adding our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. As you paint your primary colors, remember to leave three blank spaces between each color. Now that our primary colors are in place, let's introduce their mixtures, the secondary colors. These are formed by blending two primary colors together. Mix red and blue, and you get purple, also known as violet. Combine blue and yellow, and you get green. Mix red and yellow, and you'll have orange. These three colors join our primary colors on the color wheel. As we mix our colors, we will put them in the center between the two colors that were mixed. You should have an empty space on each side of your secondary colors when you finish this step. We have one more set of colors to mix called tertiary colors. These are the in-between colors created by mixing a primary color with a neighboring secondary color. The colors mixed are right there in the name like blue-green or yellow-orange. Mix red and violet and you get red-violet. Mix blue and green to create blue-green. Continue mixing each primary color with the secondary color neighbor to finish filling in your color wheel. Add the final sections to your circle, placing each tertiary color between its primary and secondary color. If you like, you can label the colors on your color wheel. And there you have it, your own color wheel. Keep your color wheel handy and use it to choose great color schemes for your future art projects. Thanks for joining me today and happy painting.